Hey, this is Miracle Max. Welcome to Rise of Kingdoms. And um, I wanted to kind of give you an update of what's going on for me in this game. Uh, we are nearing the end of the Lost Kingdom. I think everybody is now. If they haven't finished it, they're nearing the end. We have five days left. Um, the only thing left to do on the map for us is to do the final capture on the Crusader Fortress. So right now we obviously have one. I believe our kingdom as a total has five. Um, and we will be moving people around in alliances in our kingdom as the game comes to an end to give the people who work the hardest the most rewards. Um, and, you know, to be in a kingdom that is going to reward effort is pretty awesome. So if we look on the map, we actually ended up with two kingdom allies at the end of this game or during this game. Uh, King, we're in kingdom 157 to start with, um, and we allied with kingdoms 160 and 156 and kind of broke up rewards between us. Um, we, as a kingdom, um, if we go to kingdom first, you know, have a... Cons pretty considerable lead and I think part of that is because those two kingdoms right below us in second and third place we started working with them early and doing that enabled us to take out um, everybody else on the map um, when you work with other kingdoms and and shut down areas and come in to help them you know our deaths were probably higher and our kills were probably higher but uh, the end result is we finished on top. Um, as far as Alliance, the Alliance I'm currently in is in second place. Shout out to Sons of Destruction or Sod. Uh, we will be moving players into the top kingdom for the rewards, but pretty much everybody in our kingdom is going to get good rewards. I mean, if you look at the rewards lists, uh, top Alliance is going to get 20 legendaries. I mean, legendaries are what we care about in this game, right? Lots of speed ups. Um, second rank is going to get 15 legendaries, third 10, and then um, going down from there. But our top three alliances are holding spots one, two, three. So we've got some great legendaries coming to us. Uh, we have a couple other uh, lower level alliances in our kingdom who are going to get the four through ten rewards um, but pretty much we finished in a really good position as far as individual i am at 120,000 points um, and holding on to in the top 100 um, you know as i did this event remember that i was also doing the lost kingdom in kingdom two and in Kingdom 135 at the same time. And so I wasn't able to really pound on these points. And to get to 120,000, which was a pretty big reward, um, having my time split um, tells me that anybody who pushes hard should be able to get this 150,000 points. Um, like I said, up until maybe a week ago, I was splitting time between three accounts trying to get these points. Um, I didn't end up with a very high level of kills in this because of my split. Um, I don't think I'm going to get to 5 million in the next five days, uh, but that's okay. You know, I, I did work work pretty hard to get where I am. And if we go back again to the honor roll based on finishing in the top 100, let's see what I get for that. So I get three legendaries, um, which is helpful. You know, again, it could have been five, uh, but it's not happening. Um, we had some amazing finishers in this. It's kind of crazy. 237 honor roll points. And these guys at the top are fighting for some pretty significant rewards. I mean, 60 legendaries versus 30 or 20. So if you're fighting to get into that top 10, um, shout out to you because you have been busting it. And it, it looks like pretty much positions one, two, three are set. As far as the top 10, uh, there's going to be some battles here for points. We've got a lot of people right in the 180s. And with the Dark Altar and the uh, Ancient Ruins, um, those positions can flip pretty quickly. Right now, my alliance is working on level 10 barb forts, trying to get as many 
done as we can. Um, towards the end of the Lost Kingdom, once once level 10, uh, well, 9 and 10 bar ports open, it actually um, gives you more points attacking those. So one other really cool thing that has happened for me in this game is because of all these legendaries that I'm winning on events in here, and sorry, I'm just cleaning up my map because that's what I do. I just can't handle seeing markers on the map. Um, hey, Warpath. Real quick, I have had many people ask me, why do you train Tier 2 troops? And here's why. We have events probably half of the time that reward you for training Tier 2 or, high, or higher troops. So I want these rewards. Tier 4 take a lot longer to train. Um, and so when there's an event going on, I drop down and train Tier 2. When there isn't an event going on, I train, uh, I upgrade those to Tier 4. And I, I do have a considerable amount of Tier 4 troops right now. Um, you know, not counting Siege, I have 1.5 million uh, tier 4, so it's not like I'm hurting for tier 4 troops. So upgrading in this way allows me to get the most uh, bang for my buck. And in this game, yes, I have spent money. Uh, no Lilith has not given me anything. Um, but I've had to bust it to get stuff. And, you know, my wallet is not limitless. I finally on the verge of tier 5. Uh, and I've, I've been working hard to get there. So for me, the big move for today is if you notice Minamoto I bought him that's $185 um, I will tell you if you're spending any money on this game <coughs> excuse me based on how hard it is to max a legendary that is the best money spent in the game that $185 for Minamoto is really a bargain considering how hard this is but today my Mr. Richard sitting there, if you look at it, is 5554. Five, five, and if I go into skills based on those last rewards, I can now exchange these and upgrade my Richard to expertise. And I am really so happy about that because I've waited a long time. I've worked on Richard a long time, and he has been my main focus um, on a legendary for for quite a while so there he is richard expertise he looks bad badass is what he looks he's level 57 um i am leveling him up by using him as part of my tank unit with lohar killing barbs so i'm not going to rush him up to level 60 he's going to get there um also for me uh you know here's my next two Cao Cao is 5543 I am slowly building him using the daily chest. He's still coming to me there. And then my Genghis Khan is 5552. Five, five, so a lot of cavalry, cavalry, I always say that word wrong. A lot of cavalry leaders are really close. So I have Minamoto maxed and two more maxed. The other thing that happened for me in this game recently is I pushed really hard on Mightiest Governor, the last two, and was able to get 10 Saladin. Um, this was the last Mightiest Governor with Saladin. Constantine will start in my kingdom at the next Mightiest Governor. And so I just barely eked out Saladin. Um, really happy to get him. I'm not sure what to do, though, at this point. You know, I have Minamoto, I have Tao Tao, I have Genghis Khan. This would be my fourth cavalry leader, and he is amazing. So I'm definitely going to work on him, but it feels like I, um, you know, maybe need to start working on Alexander, who I have at 5-1. I spent a ton of gems on the wheel to get him here, um, and he is an amazing commander. I'll throw down a video for you on it. I'm also, of course, working on Ethelfled. Um, by buying her three sculptures every day, and I'll throw you down a video on her too. Um, I showed you that I have all Cav leaders as far as my best legendary, and I'm going to show you a big mistake I have made in this game um, because I wasn't thinking. Um, I am one step away from tier five troops. I'm on my very last major, oh, wrong tab. 
you don't care my obviously my economics is maxed out but as you can see I have combined arts and encampment maxed and I have medical core on its very last one 76 days but I wasn't thinking and I started at the top down like most of us do and I maxed out the two skills necessary to unlock tier 5 infantry that's awesome I want tier 5 infantry but I want cavalry first um, because my maxed legendaries are cav leaders and I really screwed up because the ones I need maxed out are stirrups and plate armor so unfortunately for me when I finish medical corps I am not gonna start on those royal guards at the top I'm gonna have to go back and do stirrups and do plate armor till 10 and that is gonna delay me a couple months on tier 5 unless I open my wallet really stupid mistake um, and you know I, I guess I have a few days to consider whether I would rather max out Alexander put some money in that's a ton of money to to do that I'm not gonna do that forget that but whether I unlock tier 5 infantry first you guys can chime in on that um, so we had an update drop last night. I'm going to cover that in another video that I will release soon after this one. But I wanted to give you guys an update of where I am. I'm sitting at 46.5 million power uh, when this research here finishes. Um, that is going to take me up another, let's see, almost a million power. So my guess is I'm going to be unlocking tier 5 troops right around 50 million power. That seems to be the place. Uh, let me check and see if any of those rallies are within my reach. Yes, I can do that one. Those two are already marching. Bummer that I missed those. We'll send out all cav again. When you're doing rallies, um, it match your troops with whatever the rally leader sent out and what I mean is this if I click on that rally that just happened I can look at uh, Nilder Sue hi Nilder Nilder loves being shouted out in videos he wants to be famous um, I can look at what troops Nilder sent out he sent out cavalry now if we all match those troops and all send out cab troops we're gonna get the best bonuses from his commanders Minamoto and Genghis Khan Secondly, we are going to get the march speed of all cav, and when you're running around the map and going a long way to get these barb forts, you want to get there fast. Don't mix the troops, unless they specifically tell you, hey, I'm using Hannibal, who mixed troops helps, you know, and send mixed troops. Don't do it. Um, all of these guys should have cav, and let's see if... Uh, oh, it's not letting me look at any... There we go. You know, so everybody should have sent all, there's my troops, Cav. Um, and, you know, if you send the wrong troops, you might get kicked. <laughs> so, so there's that. All right, so you guys saw it. Richard maxed, except for his level, and that'll come very quickly. Um, and I'm sad that the Lost Kingdom is closing because it's been fun. I guess in some ways I need a little bit of a break because it is intense. Um, I'm excited about the update and what's coming, and I'm going to walk you through that. But uh, this is Miracle Max. This is where I am in the game. If you uh, enjoy my content, please hit subscribe. Uh, please like the video. Hey, if you um, have some areas that you need help on, please leave a comment. I'd be glad to help you. Um, I do have a couple videos that I have promised that I'm working on for you guys. One of them is a comparison of uh, Pelagius, Belisarius, and Bybar. Uh, my rankings that I did with Echo uh, really angered some people. So um, I'll leave a link to that video for you uh, at the top. And um, but it did it did anger some people and I want to do a true test on them. You know, let's really see how the three of them stack up. Um, other things I'll be doing videos on is the new expedition, um, the updates to the game and then a video to close out the Lost Kingdom and just talk about what worked and what didn't. Um, some changes that 
we would like Lilith to make. Um, some they already implemented, like the migration, but we'll talk about that. Um, so lots of new videos coming up. And again, if there is something you'd like me to make videos on, leave a comment. I would be glad to do that. Um, one other video series I'll be working on is talent trees. So really breaking down the talent trees rather than talking about which commander needs what talent tree. Let's talk about the talent trees and what the best options in them are. All right, thanks so very much for watching. Um, if you like this video, throw a like, and I will see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.